Tokyo is the capital city of Japan, known in the world for being highly advanced and organized community. You wouldn't believe me, but there is a forest garden park at the center of metropolitan Tokyo. Where can we find it? Let us see this. Konnichiwa, Owen Des. Hajimimashite. Apparently, we have a perfect weather today. This is the transition between late winter and early spring season. I am exactly at the beautiful and historic garden of Hotel Shinsansu of Tokyo. The garden surrounding it is not just a beautiful, ordinary garden. It has cultural treasures and historical significance to Japanese communities. Before I will take you around the hotel and explain about the cultural treasure of this garden, let us first have an experience savoring Japanese dishes that are known to the world. Honestly, I couldn't come here if not because of my uh, Japanese family. They took me to one of the 12 restaurants in this area. These foods are absolutely fresh and authentic Japanese cuisine. It is being cooked freshly on top of a granite rock placed on a flame. Tabite kudasai! Oishi desu! Sugoi! The hill surrounding Shinsanso, Tokyo has been a home for wild camellias for more than 600 years. It was featured in a landscape woodblock paintings and prints of the 17th century. This Japanese garden was founded in 1877 and it is rich in historical remains and artifacts from all over Japan. Among these are the ancient stone-carved Taoist and Buddhist gods. This is Jurujin, one of the seven Buddhist gods of fortune. Although it is late winter, this garden still has lots of trees thanks to the evergreen native camellia that lives here for more than 600 years. This is a 500 year old sacred tree known as Goshinboku. Its base measures 4.5 meters. This is Shiratama Inari Shrine. It was transported from Shimogamo in Kyoto in the year 1924. At the peak of a hill you can find a thousand year old pagoda that was transferred from Hiroshima mountains. The Shikoryuji temple monk built this without using any single nail. This ancient Buddhist god used to be worshipped for thousands of years in an ancient Japan. This is stunning all year round during summer, during autumn, during winter, and during springtime. The hotel building is stunning on top of the hill. The ropes are arranged to protect the bonsai trees from heavy snowfall. Early spring is characterized by the blossoming of the plum trees. The garden is evergreen all year round because of the coniferous pine trees surrounding the pond and the waterfalls. What makes early springtime stunning are the blossoming of the plum trees and some early blooming sakura. This is plum blossom which is undeniably been misidentified as sakura blossom. Shinsansu Garden was highly devastated during the World War II, but it was reconstructed in 1948 to be the oasis of Tokyo. This includes the transportation of more than 10,000 trees. This garden is absolutely an embodiment of a tangible Japanese ancient transition and modern culture that are thriving or um, harmoniously coexisting with the preservation of nature. During the era of reconstruction after the World War II, Japan also adopted Western architecture. This 
These are the several statue gods of Rakan. Japanese bridges have always been painted red to make a contrast of the green forest above the spring and rivers. We never checked in in this hotel. We just celebrated a special occasion in one of the outdoor restaurants. At this juncture, let us see what it's like. The interior of a 5-star Shinsansu Tokyo Hotel. Do you know where am I filming? This is inside the comfort room of this 5-star hotel. As you can see, it is filled with marble and everything here is very clean and very elegant like the western hotels this is a european luxurious style of a comfort room every corner in this hotel is very amazing it's very elegant like the pavements and the lobby areas this is one of the receiving halls of the hotel I remember Malacanang Palace in the Philippines. Basically, this hotel has 260 rooms and suites, 12 restaurants, and 36 meeting rooms. And it has the one of the Tokyo's largest spa. If you are on top of the hotel building, you can see the different perspective of the garden in different seasons. This is not the first time that I been to a five-star hotel in Japan. My first is in 2013 in Otani Hotel. But my experience here is outstanding because of immersion of Japanese culture and togetherness with the family. I really want to visit here again someday.